Hey guys, it's Box here, and welcome to episode 2 of Lumion Legacy. Now you might be wondering, where the hell am I? And well, that is a very good question to ask, because I am in Chessman Town. As you can see, we didn't really end the Chessman Town last time, so what happened? This is what I would call technically a 2.5 episode, where I sort of screw up the last episode, but it's also technically episode 3, because it's a third video recorded. Yeah, little weird, you know what I mean? But anyways, I will catch you guys up. So we have traveled from ro uh, r uh, Route 1 all the way to Chester Town, and we are going to now explore it. I did do a bit of exploring before, but hopefully you guys will be alright with that. Uh, I'm still trying to get to grips with my recording software and everything because I'm using a new computer, and I actually haven't had that much experience uh, configuring settings, so... It's a lot of... It's a lot of um, trying to fix that up right now and trying to figure out how to get the best quality... Um, as well, because I got a better computer, you know, I want to get a good quality out of that, you know, so um, let's go explore uh, Chessman Town regardless though, and uh, before we go ahead, uh, we did catch some Lumians, say hello to Twilight and Cathorn, so if you guys would like to get um, some nicknames for these uh, for these Lumians, that'd be lovely, uh, hopefully we'll be able to find a nickname, uh, rename her somewhere along the lines, or I could just like make a list of names I could put for my Lumians if you guys would like that. Uh, would be make it more you know, personal for everyone, and that'd be really you know a lot more fun. Anyways, uh, we got Cathon Benched and Twilight. So in this game, essentially, we have a different system. Um, we don't have just six Pokemon. We can, I mean, six Lumians. I keep interchangeably using Pokemon and Lumians. If I say Pokemon, just think Lumians. All right. Um. Essentially, we have five slots here for our Lumions that will be in the battle and two bench. So this bench essentially acts like an EXP share, and that's really, really cool. I did I have a complaint about the last Pokemon Brick Bronze, and it was extremely grindy because there was a very it's very hard to get an EXP share um, because that was paid. Um, but anyways, oh look at these vending machines! They got a nice Thunderbolt. I like that. Um, but anyways, let's go explore Chessman Town. So over here we have a Kumbunga Coffee. I believe that's what it's called, Kabunga? Kabunga? Might have said the name wrong, um, but hopefully it is right. Yeah, we got um, these kind fellas. You got a Kabunga over there. Is that a Kabunga? Let me just see. Uh, what's this uh, Lumion's name? I like watching the Kabunga. Yes, it is the Kabunga. And this kind uh, man over here gave us uh, an item, which is a Kabunga coffee, which is essentially allows us to have a chance to restore energy, and that's going to be really helpful in Eaglet, because Eaglet is our main damage dealer right now. Um, we also found out um, that this over here is, I don't know, we call, should we just call it the Lumi Center, I suppose? I don't really know what to call it, because there's actually no name for it right now. Uh, I would just call it the Lumi Center for now, like they sort of call it in the Pokey Center sort of thing, you know what I mean? And over here we have like some automated uh, machines we can go access ourselves, we've got like cool looking... Um, PC machines and the healing machines over here, and we've got um, the Lumion goods, so It's not called the Pokemon. It's the Lumion, uh, Lumi good, Lumion goods, so Very different. I will be comparing this game a lot to Pokemon just because it is based off that game sent a little bit um, but Well, the premise is based on that game, but it's definitely a very different game And I'm very excited to see how to play around the mechanics especially uh, right now, right, and there's also one thing, so we went to a house over here, and they told us about, um, a fortress, I think, like, a ruins nearby, so that's where we're going to be investigating today, we're going to be investigating the ruins, so let's uh, go over here and see what's going on. Gale Forest. I promise I'm not making any of this up. The Lumians, I saw them with my own eyes. They were possessed with an evil spirit. They attacked me with incredible strength. The aura gave off was dark and chilling. Something has disturbed the souls of this forest. What you're saying is absurd. There are no evil wild lumens in these woods. He's right. They're, these woods have always been watched over by a guardian spirit. I've lived in these woods for many years, and I'm telling you I have never seen anything like this. I believe Dusk, the guardian spirit of these woods, may be a key element in the local Lumion's change of behavior. Nonsense. The guardian spirit is the protector of the woods. Sir, your claims simply do not make any sense. Fine then. Do not don't listen to me. I know something has disturbed our, has disturbed our forest, and I will not get I will get to the bottom of this if I have to. Good day to you, sir. Hey, you. Hey, that's us, yes. What do you need help with? Yeah, you, come here. 
You look like a Lumion trainer. Listen, I need your help. Nobody will believe what I saw earlier today. Something in these woods has changed over the course of the last few days. Dusk it. Alleged guardian spirit has protected these woods for centuries. I visit it from time to time and it's always been gentle. Except, of course, when I visited it this morning. Would you mind investigating this matter a little more for me? Uh, no problem, sir. I would go back myself, but I'm defenseless and cannot withstand another attack. Maybe having two eyewitnesses will convince the law to make this more seriously. Duskit usually resides in a grove deep in the woods under a flowering tree. I'm going to go inside and rest now for a bit. I've had a long day. Good luck, young trainer. Again, guys, uh, I did not check the results of the polls last time. I don't know if I did make the poll successfully as well, so I might do another poll here as well. But essentially what I'm going to be asking is, do you guys want me to voice the characters? Because I know some people might not like that, and that is perfectly fine. Uh, just uh, tell me in the poll and when, I, when it pops up to the like top right corner. Yeah. All right, let's go into the bushes and see what other Lumians lie ahead. All right, Eaglets, let's get going, shall we? Uh, we already have a cart on, but the uh, EXP never hurts, to be honest. And uh, no friend request, please. And oh, that is a complete one shot. Eaglets a beast. Nice and nice job. We got some nice experience. And our bench Pokemon also got uh, Lumion got uh, some experience as well. The mind, mind, this just don't mind me. I'm, I'm just gonna pronounce that wrong for the next few. Uh, episodes so I get uh, grips on it. Oh, okay, so we got a new Lumen here. It's called Prope. Alright, let's make sure we don't uh, one shot this eagle, please. Oh, wow, this, this, this Prope has a high, high defense, so that's gonna be interesting. I didn't really look at the stats of uh, our Lumen as well, actually. I should probably do that. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna. We're going to essentially weaken this propane, uh, Prope down, and then we're going to use a Lumi this. Chuck it across. And we're gonna capture this. Gonna move about a little bit, as like it, like it does. And we we got it. We got it. Yay! And we got Prope. Uh, Prope has been added to the Lumi decks. Would you like to give a nickname? Uh, not right now, please. All right. Very nice. And wow, we got level nine eaglet as well. And uh, bench Lumi got some nice exp as well. Uh, let's see how much exp the bench Lumians get actually. Alright, so we look at the Bench Lumion. Whoa, okay, so they do get quite a bit of EXP from that. That's very nice, actually. I should probably just put um, a lot of them in there, then, in the Bench side, because we're not going to be using a lot of them anyway. Hey, we can, like, zoom in and look around as well. Oh, that's so cool. That's actually so cool. Hey, whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Um, Attack, defense, okay, so this one is high attack, but low defense, okay. Uh, what's Eaglet like? Eaglet is okay, so I don't know what that means, but we're pretty. Wait a minute, attack, defense, attack, defense. Hmm, I'm guessing this is like a uh, range attack and range defense. So range, we uh, eaglet is very much better at range attack than physical attacks. Interesting. Uh, let's see what this pro is like as well. Uh, okay, so this one's also more range. Prope, so Prope is, yeah, more defense, uh, more defense type. Let's see what sort of attacks you have. You only have Brace as you move. Sort of like, um, the, the Lumion version of, uh, of Splash, essentially. Of Magic Carp, essentially. Alright, let's just keep going through the bush, shall we? And try and get some new Lumions. And we got a Kun, uh, Kunucopia. Alright, we're going to use Shine again. Deal some decent damage, and hopefully, uh, not uh, not do too much damage. Looks like another uh, defense type Lumion. Uh, very very nice to have some tanks in your team. You know, it's always good to have. Okay, we'll use Shine again. Oh, really close there, but we're gonna be able to capture this Lumion with the disc. So we're gonna use a capture disc and chuck it across and capture this Kunu uh, Kunucopia. Gonna move around a bit. Oh no, it got out. Jeez, okay, that was not even close. Damn. All right, we're gonna use another one. We're gonna have to buy some new, uh, more Lumi capture this as well. Actually, that is completely fine. However, we're gonna capture this Kuni Kuni Copia. Come on, move about. Come on, come on, come on. And nice. Yeah, this one's a bit harder to catch. That was a bit unlucky, but uh, we got our next. Uh, I think our fifth Lumian. Yeah, this is our fifth Lumion now. 
Jeez, the captain got a lot of Lumians now. Very nice. And a Cathon learned the move Bug Bite. Very nice. Uh, did I bench? Yeah, I bench Propay and Kinotopia as well. Okay. Uh, right. I think we're gonna head back to the Lumi Center for a little bit. I'm just gonna call it the Lumi Center. We have a better name for it because that doesn't sound like a good name right now. But yeah. Now we're gonna heal up the rest of our Lumians. We know we've got to be ready for any sort of situation right now. You know, better safe than sorry, as we uh, I like to say. And we're gonna go back to the Lumi Center. I, mm, you, go, you know what? You know what, folks? Let's, let's name this. Let's name this something until they give us an official name, shall we? Uh, what should we call this place? Uh, I, like Lumi Center makes sense to me because Lumian Legacy, you know, Pokemon sort of thing. I'm just following the Pokemon format sort of thing. Um. But maybe that's not the right way to go about it, you know? Uh, tell me in the comments down below what we should call this uh, place to heal our Lumians. Anyway, so let's keep on going up again, and let's go to this, um, meet this guardian that this man was talking about. Apologies about that, we got disrupted again, as well as getting used to bang back to recording. You always get more disrupted because people aren't aware that you record uh, more often now. Uh, but anyways, we're going to use Shine. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to capture this grubby. Even though it's so cute. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have to move away from that and hopefully get some more Lumi Discs on the way back. And uh, we're just going to keep going forward at this point. Alright, so let's keep moving up, shall we? Uh, we should probably give our other Lumians a chance to battle, shall we? Uh, let's get Twilight a bit leveled up as well. And uh, this one's just got Brace as well. Come on. Why are a bunch of these Lumians pretty useless right now? <laughs> Alright, let's keep on going up, shall we? Ooh, interesting. It's like a geyser here as well. And hey, look at that. We got the Twilight. We got the Twilight, I think. Oh, it's gonna be a while for me to learn these uh, Lumion names because not really used to that. Um, but oh, okay. That's that's that. That is. Oh, come on. This game's teasing me with this cute. All right, that's fine. We're gonna level up this Lumion. We're gonna use uh, Dwardle first, lower their HP. I mean their defense, and then we're gonna use um, Nor. And try and deal some damage that way. Okay, we're gonna use some Gnaw now. We're gonna use Gnaw, do some decent amount of damage, not too bad. We're gonna use Stay again, our defense, our physical defense fell. Alright, we're gonna use Gnaw again. Hopefully, do some decent damage this time. Not too bad, and nice. Got, managed to get that Grubby in two hits, not bad. And our Bench Pokemon also got some EXP from watching the battle. Very nice. Uh, Alright, uh, what's over here? Eh, nothing seems to be there. Uh, okay, let's talk to this trainer. The map said the ruins were here, but I see nothing. What am I missing? Hmm. Something over here? Maybe it's a type of Lumion we're missing. Ooh, Pida. Interesting uh, play on words there, because it's technically a spider, if you know what I mean. Alright, we're gonna use Dwardle again. Lower the uh, defense. We're gonna do it twice this time. Let's see. Depending on how they go. Oh, our speed did fall a little bit there. Not really great. We're going to use Dwardle again. Hopefully get their defense down a little bit more. We're going to use Dwardle. And then we're going to go for a full-on attack. And see how well we do there. And we're going to use... It's going to use a web shot. We're going to drop our speed again. But hopefully Gnaw is going to do a decent amount of damage. Oh, and yes. We just lowered the Pyder's defense much low enough to just get a one-shot right in there. Very nice. Uh, Alright. So we can't jump in this game game. That's right. Uh, let's just look about and see what we could do about this. Oh, I, forgot, I completely forgot there's something in there as well. Oh well, that's fine. This is going to be great EXP for our Lumion. And we're going to use Dawdle again. We'll use it twice and then we'll go for that one shot. That's a pretty good idea if I do say so myself. So, nice amount of damage there by the Pyder, but we should hopefully be able to withstand this. And deal some effective damage next turn. Going to use Sting. Decent amount of damage, but not too bad. We were able to take it. Going to use Gnaw. Hit it down. Oh, okay. So this one's got a lot more, much tankier than another one. We're taking quite a bit of damage. And then straining our energy as well. We're going to use Gnaw again. Hopefully deal some decent damage. If not, we're already going to have to, yeah, switch out our Twilight. Um, is getting a bit too low. Uh, we're going to have to switch out to Eaglet because our Kook. Uh, Cucucopia, like, oh my gosh, I'm butchering the name. Yeah, isn't doing too well. 
All right, so that Lumion is low on energy, so that means we can count for that Lumion not to take any hits this turn. Uh, and we're gonna use Pound and hopefully finish this battle. And very nice there. And Pyra fainted, so that was a bit of a harder battle right there. Uh, we're gonna switch Eaglet back in and uh, bench Lumion so he got more EXP. Very nice. Right, we're gonna switch Eaglet back to the front row now because Twilight is a little bit injured. And yeah, let's go find out what's going on over here. Doesn't seem like we can click on anything here, so let's head back down and ask some questions, shall we? Um, it seems to be a very interesting area. Oh, okay, we can go down here, though. Oh, there's a trainer right there. That is very, very, very tricky. There are a lot of bug-type lumens in this woods. Let me show you what I mean. Alright. Okay, he's gonna challenge us to a battle. Didn't even see that trainer right there. It's a very, very, very uh, tricky right there. Very tricky in the game. Uh, but he has a feeling Eaglet knows Pounce. Well, I mean, they're right. But that's an interesting, very interesting ability there. We're gonna use Shine. Deal some nice damage to the Grubby there. He's gonna lower our defense, but we should be able to outlast that. Um, we're gonna use Pounce again. Deal some nice damage, and very nice. The Grubby is now down for the Taken. Very nice. Good job, Eaglet. And we're gonna nice get some EXP. We'll, we'll probably level up as well from leveling up. Oh, and Catalan also leveled up. Very nice. Saving from this could bring a coffee. It also uh, healed uh, some energy. Very nice. You're gonna send in a Catalan of itself, of themselves now. And now we're going to use Shine again and just deal damage out right. Because Eagle can take that damage and just deal it like a boss. And look at that. One shot right there by Eagle. Very nice job. And level 10. Level 10 already. Very nice. And Lumion's Bancho, so you get some nasty XP from that as well. Another Grubby about to be sent out. Don't worry, another easy job for Eaglet. Uh, Grubby is a position and uh, knows that we know Shine. I don't know how that would be useful, but I guess it's like if you know the ability, you can always counteract with it and that sort of thing. I don't know, something along those lines. Eaglet is getting low on energy, so hopefully he doesn't have too many more. Uh, and very nice. Oh no, my precious bugs! And very quick battle right there. Um, I think we have to go through here, it looks like. Because we didn't go through here before. Alright. Uh, our lumens are a little bit low on EHP. So let's use a small med on our Twilight. So we can continue using Twilight. And getting some nice EXP for that uh, lumen right there. Because we got to make sure we got a nice even spread of EXP for our team. It's uh, pretty important. Alright. Hello there. Uh, watch where you're stepping. You don't want to kick over an ant's, uh, ant's nest. Trust me. Well, I definitely trust you. If it's anything, if it's not a good idea, probably shouldn't be doing that. All right, NC. All right, Twilight. All right, so let's just uh, go for the full on attack right now. Actually, what does Stretch do? Let's check out what Stretch does, shall we? All right, let's do Stretch. Okay, Stretch. Stretch your muscles to be better prepared to, uh, to move. So I'm guessing this uh increases our evasiveness but i don't think that's pretty useful right now we're gonna use gnaw straight away to see how much damage we can deal well not too bad not too bad and you're gonna use gnaw on us as well that's gonna be a very gnawy uh gnaw battle it's like we're gonna be continually using gnaw oh nice critical hit there by twilight very nice oh no anti's toxin uh, and and uh twilight is now asleep unfortunate now let's uh i guess we can uh, let's try and use gnaw again see if uh Twilight would wake up from that. Uh, Twilight is fast asleep, unfortunately. Use Bug Bite. Oh, dealing some decent damage there and drain some of uh, energy. Come on, Twilight, wake up. Twilight, wake up and he's gonna use Gnaw and finish off that Antsy. Very nice job there, Twilight. Gonna get some nice EXP from that as well. Get to level 6. Very nice. Uh, you eventually means again EXP for watching as well. Very nice. Uh, another Antsy. We'll be very careful about this because they do have that ability right there. Uh, we are. A level difference by one, but it's not going to be doing very much for us, unfortunately. We use Bug Bite, going to drain some of energy. So I think Bug Bite might be a very interesting move, in a sense, to uh, get energy. Because our Twilight is very low in energy right now. Uh, he's going to use Gnaw. Okay, that's a decent amount of damage. And then we're going to have to rest next time. So hopefully this will be a critical hit. Come on! Oh, unfortunately not a critical hit. And we're probably going gonna, gonna to have to rest this turn as well. Alright, so we'll rest this turn. And we're gonna let our guard down to rest. Get some nice energy back. He's gonna use bug bite. Hopefully not gonna do too much. Uh, not too much. Um, if we have the first attack, we should be all right here. We're gonna use gnaw. 
and finish off the anti. So now we're gonna switch. Uh, we're gonna keep this Twilight in the battle just to get the XP. But we're gonna get Eglinton. Oh no! Oh, I failed. Uh, well, that is unfortunate, sir. Um, all right. So that was a very close battle, but we got some nice EXP for Twilight. There, we're gonna be using another potion, unfortunately. But that is just a sacrifice we gotta make right now. All right, let's keep on going through, shall we? Mm, I'm guessing the ruins are right. Ruins are right there. Oh, we're gonna now propay. Okay, come on, Twilight. Let's go for one v one here. So we're gonna use. There's no point using Dwarl because that uh, propay is just gonna keep increasing its health. So what we're gonna probably be doing um, that defense. So we're gonna probably just try and deal as much damage as we can right now. All right. Yeah, the damage is gonna be pretty insane. Um. Yeah, that damage is gonna be very sad. All right. Yeah. This. Oh, okay. This is very annoying. All right, Eaglet, your time to shine. Literally, time to shine. You shine, because we're gonna deal with this propate right now before it gets way too, way too crazy in that defense. Okay, I'm gonna use shine right now. Hopefully, do some decent damage. And oh yes, a one shot there by Eaglet. Very nice. Just, just the amount of damage Eaglet can um, dish out is insane. And there we go. So we're gonna just keep on going through. Let's go above and see what's up here. Uh, it looks like to be more for us. So it looks like we do need to prepare a little bit more to get through here. But okay, so let's just take another area to get through as well. Interesting. All right. So yeah, this person is trying to look about and trying to find out because it is a little bit tricky that area. That nearly tricked me up as well. Um, but it looks like we got something up there to look up for. Unfortunately, we have run out of time this episode. Apologies for messing up that first, second episode. This is technically episode 2.5, but, you know, hopefully you enjoyed this video regardless. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe to show your support, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!